Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can fix the safety to remove hardware icon, which has disappeared in Windows 10. It also uh, works for Windows 7 and Windows Vista and Windows 8, uh, and also obviously Windows 10. So what we're going to do here is take a look at how we can resolve this issue. Sometimes the safety to remove icon is disappeared, and I'm going to show you how you can try to fix this. So first off, uh, what we're going to do here is take a look at the bubble that pops out on the side and also the icon that will be down here. So the first place you want to go to for the first fix is go to control panel. Once you've got control panel open, go to task bar and navigation. This is in Windows 10. And what you want to do is to come down here to where it says notification area and look for where it says select icons to appear on taskbar. Click on this and of course you can come down here and you can see here the Windows Explorer safety to remove hardware and eject icon is not on and you need to enable this feature. Enable that and you can see that there we can now see we've got this icon suddenly appear uh, down the bottom right hand side. Also if you come down a little bit further You'll see this other icon here, which is another useful one to have on, which is the Windows host process. We can have this enabled as well uh, to try to resolve a lot of those uh, issues. And that hopefully you can see here now it's appeared here. And now if we look inside this little box, you'll see it's disappeared. It normally is inside here. And we've now got that sl selected down the bottom here, which is exactly what you want. So that's the first fix that you can try. Okay, for solution two, what we're going to do is come down to the start button and right click on this on Windows 10 and go to device manager. There is numerous ways to get into device manager. This is just one of them. And uh, once we got into device manager, you want to look for uh, disk drives inside here, pull the tab down and you should see all the drives that you've got plugged into your computer or installed in your computer. You can see we have the USB flash drive right here want to right click on this and go to properties this will open up a prompt box look inside policies and inside here you will see the default is set to quick removal and uh, basically uh, this is your quick removal process which is uh, been set up by windows to be default and it enables you to disable uh, the right caching on devices and windows and what that's going to do is allow you to disconnect the drive safely without uh, clicking on the safety to remove hardware notification icon sometimes that doesn't mean it won't post up there down the bottom right it just means that something's gone wrong somewhere but by doing a quick switch to better performance which means by having better performance on you will need to make sure that you click on the safety to remove hardware icon before you disconnect your drive to make sure that you don't lose any data. So we're gonna click OK here and normally doing a quick change and going to properties again and going back into policies and putting it back to quick removal by default sometimes fixes a lot of those issues because we've made a quick change. So we're gonna click OK. Let it do its thing it will fix your problems that you have with your system. So that's the solution uh, two. Now, if you've got your system set up to safely remove hardware uh, setting and you want to keep it like that, uh, but you are still having issues with the uh, removal of the flash drive and you haven't get the icon down the bottom right hand corner, then you can use a command. What you can do is open up the run box here and you can type in this command here. And what this is going to do is prompt, bring up a prompt box which is going to allow it to shut down uh, the flash drive or any USB flash drive that you've got plugged in there or external drive you can see. And you can just stop this and then safely remove uh, that um, actual device. Now you can also set this up as a shortcut so you don't have to constantly quick uh, type that uh, code in and I'll show you how to do that. You can also set it up as a batch file and it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now to set this up it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to create a shortcut here. You can create it on your on your desktop if you wish. But all you need to do is right click anywhere you like on the desktop or in a folder 
or whatever you want to do click new and then click shortcut inside here it's going to ask you for a location of what you want to do inside here you're going to paste in your fix as you can see here click next and inside here you're going to give it a name I would call that something like safely remove my hardware click finish and you will then have a shortcut inside the location you've got that set so now to change the icon all we need to do is right click on this and go to properties here and this will open up this window and then go to change icon inside this box here or this path you can browse to the location I'm going to paste in a location here and it will give you access to some icons and you can see there is one here that's perfect for the job click OK and you can see that icon is now being changed apply and OK and there we have our icon and our shortcut now again when you click on this it's going to allow you to open up this box and allow you to shut it down uh, and stop it that's if you want to do it uh, the uh, better performance way if you want to use this feature okay and that's how you can do that and you can pin this to your um, to your taskbar if you wanted to or anything like that it just depends on how you want to do it you can see down here I've pinned that down there so now we have that down the bottom here as well and when you click on this it will automatically pop this box up for you okay and that should fix that issue now if you don't want to use that I'll show you another solution now another third party piece of software you can use as a workaround for this particular type of problem is called USB uh, disk ejector and this will allow you to eject the disk by using this particular type of software it's been around for a while and as you can see it works pretty uh, easily and that's if you want to use the uh, safely remove my hardware uh, type feature okay and that's basically uh, how you can resolve that issue and just one more I will do which is services just make sure that you've got your services running for plug in and play and uh, services of the like otherwise it won't work properly you'll have problems so come down to where it says plug in and play let's uh, just find this there we go and you can see it's running and just make sure that you've got this running it's set to manual at the moment um, but you can have this on automatic if you wish uh, but that's plug in and play and just make sure you have got that running if it's not then you need to uh, start this service up uh, and then you should be uh, good to go from there and there's a couple of other areas in here just have a little look around just to make sure that all your services if you've been playing around with your services and make sure that you have uh, particular types of services running and uh, working for your plug in and play devices and you should be pretty much good to go and that's pretty much it for this video hope this one helps you out uh, this one was requested by darren and uh, i hope this one helps you out darren my name is brian from brightech i shall see you again for another video bye for now